San Diego is getting hit with more rain on top of the rain that we saw this weekend. We witnessed flooding and road closures throughout the county, and the CHP is getting ready for a busy night with wet roads. CBS 8's Regina Yorita joins us live from Miramar Way near the 15 with more on tonight's rainfall and the message coming from CHP. Regina. Yeah, Marcella and Carla, we continue to see some scattered showers here this evening in Miramar Way right near the uh, 15 North. We are seeing just more of a calmer scenery. Nothing so crazy. None of that wet scene that we've seen this past weekend. No gusty winds just yet. However, heavier rain is expected to come down later tonight, and that means wet roads, sometimes even slippery ones. So CHP is going to be on high alert for those who are driving way too fast. It's been a stormy start to 2023 in California as this storm brings heavy showers. A scenery that San Diegans have not witnessed in a while. Born and raised here, so I've seen it, you know, on and off and lived down in Mission Valley for years and would notice it a little bit more living down there. Rain is expected tonight and for California Highway Patrol, that means potential road closures and flooding. Officer Jake Sanchez says drivers should watch out for pooling water on the roads like the known area behind Fashion Valley Mall on Avenida Del Rio. We don't see it a lot, right? So we get, we get a lot of crashes. Uh, San Diegans are not used to the, you know, the rain. Uh, so when it rains out here, we do get a lot of crashes. CHP responded to several vehicle accidents on top of DUIs this weekend. They're already expecting speeding vehicles to get stuck in flooded areas. People drive into those roadways, cars get stuck, um, and again, people need to be cautious when they're entering these types of roadways. They shouldn't drive into a roadway uh, any, any more than uh, six inches of water. Just recently, two drivers drove their vehicles into a flooded roadway in Kearney Mason, required help from officials to tow them out. Hours later, three more drivers drove into that same flooded area. We did have crashes involving uh, DUI drivers. We had crashes involving a uh, speed uh, in the rain. And we also had crashes involving people not wearing their seatbelts. Which is why CHP is strongly advising drivers to slow down, especially under these conditions. And as south swell conditions continue to push beach waters from south to north across the U.S.-Mexico border, there is a water contact warning that remains in effect from Imperial Beach to Coronado. Marcella, Carlo. Thanks, Regina. We can't tell you enough. Uh, every year when we get this flooding, the CHP says do not drive through any standing water. I think he said six inches, but just don't take a chance. If you can't see the ground, turn around is the old rhyme to remember. Just it's not worth it. And uh, more rain is expected. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Carly Chavis, who's been tracking the storm. Carly? That's right. We are talking about some scattered showers as of right now, but rain is expected as we hit overnight. Taking a closer look at the satellite radar. So the cloud cover is going strong. The rain is going to be moving in. We did have some rain earlier today. Also talking about some flurries in the mountains, but a more expansive look across the west. A bulk of that moisture is still towards the north of us, so that's why those chances are going to start to go up once we get past about midnight. That will keep going on all the way until tomorrow morning. It's going to be slick out there on the morning drive. Something to be mindful of. So you're looking at rainy conditions, breezy winds picking up. Those winds are going to be strongest across the mountains as well as for the desert with the wind advisory. But we are still talking about a breeze west of the mountains. We take a little bit of a break by the middle of the week, but the heavy rain is actually not expected until Thursday. So that's going to be with yet another atmospheric river that moves in. So what we saw over the weekend and then we got to wait until about Thursday for that to happen. But hey, that gives us enough time to be cautious out there over the next couple of days. So we'll go ahead and time out the rain for tonight through tomorrow, as well as taking a look at that next stronger system coming up. Marcella, Carlo. Thanks, Carlene. And this storm system also soaked other parts of the state, the one that just came through. Heavy rain in the new year put parts of Northern California underwater. CBSA's Jenny Day continues our coverage live here in studio. Jenny? Yeah, as mentioned, heed those warnings. At one point, more than 400,000 people were without power, and still tonight, thousands in Northern California remain in the dark, and hundreds are still under a mandatory evacuation order. The storm brought deadly flooding, high winds, and muddy landslides. In San Francisco, five and a half inches of rain fell in 24 hours, making it the second wettest day on record for the city. They have been keeping track since 1849. Neighborhoods and the iconic Fisherman's Wharf were all submerged in water. Sacramento and Santa Cruz counties also saw roads transform into rivers. Hundreds of people were forced to evacuate in Felton Grove when the San Lorenzo River flooded from that onslaught of rain. 
Some people had to be rescued and others report having to smash their car window just to swim to safety. And at least one driver did not survive. What went on your mind as it started to rain and then pour? It was time to evacuate. As soon as it got to the flood stage, I said, I'm out of here. Yeah, and when the rest of us get rain, the mountains typically get snow. Already four feet fell on the Sierra Nevada. So if you are planning a ski trip, know that some roads and resorts are closed. And as we told you, more wet weather is expected this week. So many are using this lull to sandbag and brace for the next round. Live in studio, Jenny Day, CBS 8. Thanks, Jenny. And to stay up to the date on the latest weather alerts, you can do that right on your phone. Download the free CBS 8 app at the Apple App Store or on Google Play.